Hello and welcome students to the very first lab of Unit 3. This time we are looking at functions in Unit 3 within Python. And for this very first lab, we are going to use a built-in function that Python comes with. So uh, the prompt for this particular lab is that we basically want to create a program that simulates a magic eight ball. And so a magic eight ball, if you haven't seen one before, it's these little uh, literal eight balls, just uh, a black orb that you ask a question to, you shake it or you press a button, it gives you an answer, right? So we are gonna program that inside of Python. So the very first thing that we wanna do and what it prompts us to do in the assignment is we're gonna import our library that we have right here called random. And what we can do with that once we have it imported is we can then call random's functions and use those in our program. And these functions contain a lot of stuff that is pre-built and makes our life very easy. So here I'm going to go ahead and copy in the list of answers from the prompt. And you can see I have put them inside of a list. If you uh, are still kind of itchy on lists, you're not sure of them, uh, feel free to go back to my unit two videos. We do a couple of labs with lists, right? So I've got Outlook is good, ask again later. And what we wanna do with all these answers is basically have the user pick a question and doesn't even matter what the user has said, we're gonna pick a random answer. And you can kind of see the result of our program from what I've previously written right here. So we will ask the Magic 8 Ball any question. And I asked, will I be a successful, will I be successful in my programming classes? Any Magic Ball 8 Ball says most likely yes, which I think is a very good, um, very good outlook in my opinion. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start by inputting a question to the user. So I'm gonna input, um, will or actually just this is when we ask the user to ask a question so we're going to say ask the magic eight ball any question you would like and i'm going to give them the prompt so once they input that it doesn't even matter what they say but i'm going to say um random number and we are going to make that equal to, and the way that we access the parts of random that we want to use is we'll say random dot, and dot is where we actually access its different methods. You can see here we have the list of all the different stuff that is contained within random that we can use. So here I'm going to use the function random int, and I want to make sure that prompts correctly. We just do randint right here. And uh, we need to give it its arguments. So the arguments, as you can see right here, is self random. So we're gonna ignore this part for now. That's a, a nomenclature for object oriented programming that we'll get to in a further unit. But here it wants to put in a number A and B. From what I've looked up before, I know that A needs to be the very first number that we can start with. So the lowest number that we can choose, in this case at zero, because we wanted to give it the first index of our list. And then the second number, since I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places in my uh, list, I'm gonna put seven for the very last uh, index of my list, right? So now we have that stored. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out um, and I'm gonna say magic eight ball says, and then I'm going to have it print out and I'm gonna add right here, as we know, um, a part of the answers list. And the part that I wanted to print out is the random number variable and so you can see that right here is the random number variable that we've created so now that should be pretty much all we have and it's gonna say ask the magic eight ball any question you would like and i'm going to say will my youtube video or actually you know what i have a better question will the viewer subscribe to my channel and tell all their friends about the channel as well. And I'm gonna press question mark. And you can see the magic eight ball says ask again later. So I think that we might come back at a later time and we can go and ask that question. But for the time being, our lab for unit one, uh, or for lesson one of unit three is pretty much complete. Thank you guys very much for watching.